So now I just have to give it a bit of heat and some thinners and it's finally done, it took forever. Uh, but it's your typical Mad Max construction from me. So when you see it on the tower you realize why I made it and it will save me a lot of time in the future. And it's all made out of scrap doo-doo apart from the M12 bolts which are relatively new. Sweet. Good morning YouTube, it's turned out to be a very beautiful morning again in the English countryside and this is the thing that caused me all the hassle and time yesterday. Uh, originally it was just going to be something to hold the guide wires to the towers, to the tower, but what I've actually thought is if I slip it over here then we can have it half on one bit and half on the other. So that's pretty much halfway over so I'm going to do up these bolts at the top just to start getting it tight. Now we'll start doing up these. There you go, it's starting to tape. Right, so now we can do these up properly. Right, and that's that. Let's put it up. Right, I've done tons of work on this thing, hours and hours. So now I'm just going to put it up so that we can get the exact length of the wire. You'll, you'll see lots of wires hanging off it as it goes up. So now the three wires that came off the back at the top of the tower that weren't connected can now be cut to length and attached to a turnbuckle at the bottom of the tower. You'll notice I don't have the blade staggered. I wanted to see how they catch the wind. So after I've had a cup of tea, I'm going to take it down again and change it to staggered and see if they catch the wind better. So there's all three cables this side. All three on the gym pole. So yeah, I'm feeling a lot better about it. It actually goes up fairly straight. This still needs dealing with, as does this. It's looking good. So finally down to try and fix the gear. So this is a very good angle from which to see the uh, deformation which has occurred during the incident. I can't take it off, that's the annoying thing. Don't ask me how I did it, but I think I've got it enough to run perhaps. Now those holes should line up with the holes where the brake disc would go on the electric bike. And that's about right. Can't remember if they're M5 or M6. No. There's a beautiful bird again. These are the bolts I used last time, but they're not ideal. Uh, from what I can remember, they're a pain in the ass to screw in because they've got some weird flat. Also, they're too long. So I'm just screwing one in, seeing how far. Right, these screws are going to be fine because I found this rusty but lovely screwdriver which is perfect, but 
we will need some washers. Luckily I've got quite a few, so I'm just going to sort a few of them out. Right, I'm going to try four. All we want is just so it grips nicely. So now I can tighten them all up. Sweet, that looks pretty epic to me. What do you guys reckon? Electric bike, motor, 48 volt wind turbine. Yeah boy, this thing looks sick. There's a side view of how the gear cog attaches to the six holes that would normally be used to hold a brake disc on a bike. An electric bike. Just waiting for those things to dry. And then we shall attempt to put it in the device. Little bizzle. So just showing you a close up of the motor frames. The spindle goes in the middle here, slots up, gets tightened up. Cushty. Cushty cushty cushty. All homemade. So I'm gonna try and get the motor in and I'll let you know how I do. Look at that, looks beautiful. Beautiful. Sick. Clean that rusty nut up out the garden, it's the only one I've got. So we tighten it up on the top end, and then all we do is we jack these all the way up. Get them nice and tight, because remember the spindle doesn't move. Okay, this moves. The whole motor moves, not the spindle. Whoops. So yeah, very happy with that, very happy. And this is how it looks from the underneath. So yeah, sweet, let's try and get it flying. Right, we're on the home stretch battling the sunset, so I'm gonna try and get it finished now. She's looking pretty good, folks. If you ask me, very nearly ready to go. You'll notice that I've got the bearings raised off, which enables me to tighten the chain because I don't want to be messing around with the chain shenanigans there. So the motor's locked in, basically, as tight as it'll go. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, we adjust the M12 bolts to tighten the chain, which also gives extra clearance to the blades, interestingly, as you shall see when it runs beautifully. Peace! In a bizzle! Hey. Well, I reckon she's good to go. She's good to go. The chain seems all right. I've got everything held in. By hook or by crook. That is definitely a by crook of that one. Yeah, so the wind cometh Wednesday. I'm just going to put it up now, which I shall let you witness in its all, all its glory, but we won't know if it's working till Wednesday. But it's all wired in, so should we make any power, we can record it. So there you go, there's no wind, but there will be Wednesday, so it took me a long time, but got there in the end and the tower is a lot better now than it was a few days ago. So we'll be leaving this one up there and I'll see you Wednesday.